Hi, I'm uh, Chris Newton Che. I'm a cardiologist at Mass General, where I study the genetics of blood pressure and sudden death, uh, and uh, do work there in the Center for Human Genetic Research as well as at the Broad. The primer uh, on medical and population genetics is really a very entry level uh, discussion of topics across the range of uh, areas in human genetics that have been evolving incredibly rapidly. The talks are really targeted to a very uh, uh, basic level for postdocs or grad students, but frankly, many of the people who attend are senior investigators across the Boston um, community who want to learn more about human genetics. There's been a lot of growth from the era of uh, the study of Mendelian diseases in the 90s and common diseases in the 2000s and I, I think now with large-scale sequencing we're really converging on uh, both of those uh, uh, general areas being well studied. Well I think there's a pair of talks that we kick off the series with. Uh, David Altshuler talks about uh, complex diseases, that means common diseases that have lots of both genetic and environmental contributors. And Jim Gazella talks about Mendelian diseases. And you know, Huntington's disease is a great example of uh, Mendelian disease. Type 2 diabetes would be a great example of common disease. And you hear both of these pioneers in the field talk about their general uh, sense of human genetics in the light of these models, uh, uh, complex and Mendelian. And then you realize they're both talking about the same set of diseases, that in fact, um, Many of the diseases that we thought were uh, complex have Mendelian uh, subtypes, and many of the diseases that appear Mendelian, in fact, have uh, multiple environmental and or genetic contributors. Uh, so there's, uh, I think that pair of talks really nicely sets up uh, just the, the field in general. Well, it's funny, we, we offer it every year, and I think every year we say, well, is this fresh enough to do again? Uh, and I think what we find is every year we keep running it and we keep having a full room of uh, 70 to 100 people. And I think the composition of the rooms are people who are entering labs or interested to uh, diversify their, the tools that they use to study human disease and its treatments. Um, so we continue it, uh, I think, because there's an audience willing to hear about it. But in fact, we also record it, and we've recorded it now uh, uh, a couple of years ago, and we decided to do it again this year, just because there's been such growth in many of the areas. So uh, there's a lot of fresh new tools that are being used and methods of uh, analyzing data that are really critical to stay current on. I think the Broad really has, as uh, among its missions, you know, the development of methods and tools, uh, whether that's analytics or uh, just in how to design large-scale experiments, uh, the uh, engagement of those tools to uh, specific disease problems uh, and diseases that are uh, uh, being studied across the hospitals in the Boston area. Um, and dissemination of that information and education. So I think uh, while there's both a need to bring the uh, greater investigative community in the Boston area up to speed, we recognize that these are really generic needs across the scientific community, whether people are in China or Russia or other places where uh, we, we see that they've been watching uh, some of the offerings that we've had.